Hello guys. Uh, this is a video that's been a long, long time coming, and of which I have, during last night's live stream, I had so many bad games, because, mostly because a lot of the, a, a lot of the player base, that is, um, playing World of Tanks, or is new to World of Tanks, or is returning to World of Tanks, don't understand that the maps have changed don't understand that the maps have evolved and they keep playing the maps like they used to and then someone linked me on discord someone linked me this now these are actual world of tanks produced videos okay these are videos that world of tanks have put out about their maps okay and they asked me to give my thoughts on it so this is what i'm gonna do so here's abby now, I think Abby is... Wargaming, you keep polishing a turd, but it's still a turd. Abby is a map that needs to be taken out of rotation. And severely, and I mean absolutely severely updated. Um, and I don't just mean move a hill here, put a bush here, take a bush away from here. No, 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 no. You're only doing that because of the EU player base. Now, bear in mind... I play World of Tanks on the North American server, and so players think differently from the EU players. Same as the Chinese players think differently from the EU player. We all think differently. So I'm going to give my perspective as a North American player to this video. Okay, so I'm also going to pause the video in between. It's kind of like a Cobra Reacts kind of thing. So let's get to it. Uh, no, it's not kind of cool. It's absolutely fucking pathetic. No, the map is not fun to play. The, the map is cancer. No, there's not four main attack lines. And I know exactly what he's going to say. I, now, bear in mind, I have not seen this video. I have not seen this video. And I know for a fact he's going to turn around and say attack lines are one and two with a dash into three. Four and five, four, five, and six, uh, 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 and the seven, uh, uh, and the seven, eight, nine line. Okay, count that. That's only three, not four. Am I fucking psychic? I, I'm gonna go buy myself a euro, euro millions ticket. In other words, ignore everything he's about to say. No. You are wrong. They're not. What they're going to do is they're going to... One, one, occasionally, may go down the 5-6 line. Occasionally. But they won't. They'll most likely go down the 3-4 line down in here to try and get early shots onto the light dumbass light tank that does go down the five six line while a smart light tank player will will see where the heavies are going if the heavies are predominantly going the one two line then guess what he's going to do he's going to go to about here around gamma one right when my ma oh well, obviously my camera is in the way so let me move my camera real quick Okay, I'm going to move it over here. Okay, so no, what he, what they're going to do if they're a smart light tank is they're going to go to the Gamma 1 area, maybe if they're ballsy enough, push into the Foxtrot 1 area. There's a little lip area here. I wish I could zoom in, but I can't. There's a little area where you can pug up if you're small enough, i.e. if you're that fucking annoying little French go-kart. Um, you can pug up here and light up the early heavies. That way your heavies know what's coming. And know if they should push or defend. Now, again, this is also count, count tank trying to take into effect teamwork. Okay? Yeah, I know. Let's all roll our eyes at that. Okay. Also, if they are a good light tank, they're not going middle. You're going to get fast medium tanks going middle. Okay? And if you are a good smart light tank, you will camp probably here at the Gamma 8 area. 
or again depending on what light tank you're in because some light tanks have better basic camo rating than other light tanks regardless of tier you will try and sneak up to about foxtrot 8 up to here and try and light up whatever camping tds they've got back there or what heavies or mediums are trying to push to try and get up into here to help support their mediums in here to try and do a pincer maneuver but let's see what wargaming thinks No, you can't do great spotting. You want to know why? Because, and I quote, Wargaming had nerfed the, the ability... See, back in early days, the higher up your tank was, the more easier it was to spot enemy vehicles. Because, again, a bush only covers one plane in the XYZ. It does not cover the top. Okay? It covers your front. So if an enemy is trying to cut... So if my tank's facing towards you the way I am, and I see an enemy heavy coming around me like this. He's going to spot me because the bush is only in front of me. It's not to the side of me. So no, you're not going to get good spots. That is a lie. That's lie number two. No, you wouldn't retreat real quickly. And again, notice how they're using low tier tanks here. They're not using, you know... Tier 6, tier 7, tier 8, tier 9, tier 10s that, again, quite abusively see this map. A lot of a lot of high tier tanks see this map and they shouldn't. This map should be a max of like maybe tier 5. I mean it, 1 to 5, that's it. Anything above tier 5 should never see this map ever again. Um, are you high? What did I just say? You mean attempted flank and spank. Wh whoever I is narrating this either cannot read or doesn't understand what they're reading. They go from Juliet 7 to Juliet 5 and camp. Other team goes from Bravo 5 to corner of Bravo 5. I've seen more movement from artillery on this map than I do the tank destroyers. Occasionally, depending on the tank destroyer, so if it's a lightly armored tank destroyer, so Waffentrager, Scorpion G, um, any of the annoying Swedish ones, um, you get what I'm saying. They will camp. If you are a heavily armored tank destroyer, i.e. T-28, T-95, um, oh, sorry, T-28 T T prototype, uh, T-95, or, or um, Jagdpanzer E100, even the Jag Tiger can do it, you are going to go down the 8-9 line. Or, if you're like me, and you're a masochist, and you're T-30, you're going to go down the 1-2 line, because that's where the heavy tanks are. A T-30 is a heavy tank. Okay? Fight me. Right-click on the T-30, read its description. Fight me. Kemp Bush, what did I just tell you? Uh, 
<sighs> Am I fucking psychic or what? Let me just finish this cup of coffee. Just, just let me just finish this. Insert Kermit the Frog sipping tea meme here. You should have, you should have done that in your light tanks. You should have gone from, from. You should have gone from Julia eight to Gamma eight in your light tank, and spotted for your twat waffle camping heavy assault tank destroyers that seem to think, oh, they just see the ter the term tank destroyer, therefore I must camp bush and snipe. No, read. Read what the differences in your tank destroyers are. Again, I've gone, I've spoken about this at length. There are different sub dialects of tank destroyer. Just because you're in a tank destroyer class does not mean you camp bush. There are some tank destroyers out there that have speed and mobility. Most notably, the Hell Kitty. If you're camping bush, you have no armor. You have speed. Use it. And you're thinking, how? How do I use it? Instead of camping here, knowing you're going to camp here, knowing artillery is going to splash the ever-living fuck out of you, you could always camp here at Gamma 2, 3. And vice versa. If you're here, you can camp up to here and help the push here. Or, again, you could come down here, snipe, move up here. Again, you have speed. You can move. It's not hard. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. Seriously, it's not hard. Okay. First things first. Moron, you cannot get to Alpha 1. There's no way you can get into Alpha 1. Alpha 1 is... It, it, it is terrain that you cannot get on. Bravo 1 is terrain you cannot get on. Alpha 9 is terrain that you can somewhat try to get on, but you will drown trying, and you cannot get on Alpha 0. Please, play the map. Learn the map. That is all. Same goes for down south. Kilo, uh, kilo 1, you can't access. Kilo 0, you can't access. Kilo 9, you're going to drown trying to get there. Do you not understand this? No, of course you don't, because you're reading a stupid script. A script, I might add, that was written by people that don't even speak English. A company that also fears two words, physics and logic. Because if they didn't fear physics and logic, the, two, the object 279E wouldn't even be in the game. But it is. Even though, out of great protest of players from across your servers, including the Chinese server, that should fucking tell you something, Wargaming. Okay? They keep telling you, remove it. You removed the Waffentrager E100, even though you nerfed it three fucking times. Players were still good in it. That's how good a player can be in the right tank. Okay? And I get it. It's a reward vehicle. The Object 2790 is a reward vehicle. But guess what? A good 60... Maybe 70, I'd, I'd even edge a guess and say 80% of the people that have the Object 279E paid for it. And you know exactly what I mean by that. They paid a service to get the missions done. They didn't do them themselves. Take a look at some, even there, there are even some streamers out there. I'm not saying names, but there are even some streamers out there that ask their viewers to log into World of Tanks and to queue up at the exact same time and to get into a map that he could harvest the 9,000 damage, the this, the that, the this, the that, just so he could get the Object 279E. And his viewers let him. And he even live streamed it. Did he get banned? No. Did his viewers get banned? No. Do you care? No. Because if you did care, if you actually did care, why are you constantly adding more and more and more bullshit, fake, paper, never fucking existed, could never fucking exist, Soviet tanks? Stop it. Stop polishing a turd. There's a reason why Russia never ruled the world. 
it can't because it can't even make a tank that actually is worth a shit end of fight me how many dead T-55s, T-60s, T-62s, T-62As, T-70s, T-72s, T-72As are littered across the Middle East? How many Abrams? How many Challengers? How many Leopard 2s? Enough said. No, it's not. No. Okay, nine, no, two, no. You want to know why? Those are the two most common places that tank destroyers go. Now, as I said, what did I say earlier? If you are a light tank with the correct crew and you pug it up at Foxtrot Zero in that little div that I pointed out, the moment that artillery fires, beep, beep, you're lit. Okay. If you're over at Gamma uh, Gamma 8, or even you, you manage to encroach all the way up to Echo Echo 8, and you've got really good camo, and, and, and you know that the enemy light tanks went to the city, according to Wargaming, okay? And the artillery in 8 and 9 fire, beep, beep, they're lit. Ask me how I know. I'm a light tank player. I'm also an artillery player. I know. They're scum. So ask me how I know. Where does Cobra go? That's the question. Where does Cobra go? I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have, to, you're going to have to watch me. Literally, you're going to have to watch me on Twitch to find out. Well, you just said don't bother going River Road. Now you're contradicting yourself. No. Some heavies go down the one two line. Those are heavies who have no faith in their armor. Or they are heavies who have faith in their armor but only in their turret, i.e., American players, who know that their turret armor is pretty good, i.e., T30, E T thirty four, um uh E5, E, e in, in the E five variants. Of course the E five's got that cacking great big fucking shoot me here fucking thing on the top of their turrets. But the point is that's where they would go. If you, again, if you're a slow heavy, yes, the one two line. If you are a fast heavy, you'd go the eight nine line. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, and erroneous. Erroneous on all counts. As I said, if you are in a Yag, if you're in a Mouse, okay, don't go River Road. Okay, fuck, if you honestly, if you're in a Mouse, go middle. I know that sounds stupid, but just trust me, go middle. Why? Most medium tanks and light tanks that go middle, go into the Abbey, won't have a gun that can get you. Plus, there's indestructible buildings there, so you don't have to worry so much about the tank destroyers that are camping here. Plus, with your view range, you're going to light those tank destroyers up. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, you scare the enemy into going, yipe, 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 and pulling away, which means your light tanks can then go here, light up the tank destroyers, and you can take the tank destroyer out. Wow. How does he know that? Because I've done it. I do it in my E100, and it's fucking hilarious. Especially when you ram an ELC to death. Literally, you just squish them between you and the wall. And you watch their hit points slowly trickle down. And you can hear, literally, like, that... You can hear that, you can hear that, that, that music playing in his head. And you can, then you can hear, that's when you know he fucked up. You can literally hear the Morgan Freeman meme in his head. And then most people are like, why is a super heavy going city? Buildings. Need I say more? Because super heavies are brawlers. So going the one two line where you're gonna get sniped, no. Going the eight nine line where you're gonna get sniped, no. Go city. Just trust me. Go city. Try it. 
Try it. Try it with a Mountain Breaker. Try it with a Premium. Try it with a Mountain Breaker and see what I'm talking about. No. Remove the word fun. Add annoying. Add boring. Add cancerous. Add it should be removed from the game. And also add your maps should be a lot fucking bigger than they are. Especially at higher tier. The higher the tier, the tank, the bigger the map should be by at least another five grid squares. And I mean that. You've proven that you can do really large maps with your onslaught thingy, where it's like, once a certain objective's captured, the map opens up even bigger. Okay, so you've proven that your game engine can handle large maps, much larger maps. You just refuse to add them. You can even have freaking chat GPT generate a, a generic map layout for you. And have uh, it, its art renderer uh, companion render it as an artwork form. You can literally feed it pictures of what you want, and it will literally go. Pfft. Here's your new map. It will take into account balance factors. It will take into account terrain difference. It will take into seriously. You can f you can get rid of your entire fucking map department and just replace it with I think it's called. Ellie or Wally or something like that, and, and ChatGPT. I'm not even joking. Not even joking. I generated an entire Warhammer 40,000 world for a, a campaign, a, a, a year-long campaign for 10th edition using ChatGPT and I think it, it's Lily or Wally. It's something like that. And they rendered the art for me. I even downloaded the actual software and rendered it on my computer using my GTX 3 Series card. And it did it in like 20 minutes. The map looked beautiful, gorgeous, flawless. It literally looked like it belongs in the 40k universe. I can't show it because the campaign's about to start, I think, next week at my local gaming, at my local uh, uh, eclectic games where I live. So, yeah, look forward to that. That'll be fun. I, yes, I'll be playing it. I'm playing as Death Guard. I generated the world. I'm not. The, I'm not the 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 one running the campaign. I'm playing in the campaign. I'm playing as Death Guard, which is why I've been in a push to get my Death Guard army painted. Anyway, back to the video. So no, Abby is not fun. No. No, you won't because. Okay, here you go. Now this is this is on Wargaming's own website. Okay, this is on Wargaming's own website. This explains to you, okay, the, the visualization of, of the terrain. Okay? And so the green is it is hard terrain, which means it'll be you're you're able to to go at your tank's decent speed and whatnot. And red is considered soft terrain. Why is the water considered soft terrain? You're gonna drown. It's like, why? I mean, no, your 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 map. It, it the map. Abbey itself should just go. Anyway, guys, that was my Cobra's take slash Cobra's um <laughs> uh, 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 reactions. There you go, a Cobra reacts to abby's beginner guide video that's posted on the world of tanks uh, uh website you can go there you can look up any of their maps and they normally do have a video so i'll if this if you guys like this video and this video gets say 30 likes i'll do another one all right guys until then keep your slime keep your enemies dying your cover commander is out and i'll see you sexy bitches in the next one